Rising fighting game stars from one end of the earth to the other have undergone a test of reaction and mental endurance. Entering the ring with the most elite from their region, Bandai Namco proudly presented the Tekken Online Challenge, a region-based competition that saw 10 proficient fighters take home the title during a global pandemic. Many of North America's finest sought to take up the mantle as the U.S. East champion, but that title was fought over and earned by brutal democracies obscure, clashing with the competition's best on fighters Alisa and Genryu. After defeating Puerto Rican player Sour Piggy in the semifinals, Obscure had to punch his way through three brutal games to reverse sweep Dr. Blazin' Peanut in the winner's finals. A gauntlet of a matchup that saw Obscure come back from a two-round beating. Straight into the online grand finals, Obscure took on Eddie Master Spiro Jin, the tournament's lower bracket sensation. Their clash for the U.S. East title pushed through to a tie-breaking fifth match, where Obscure asserted his dominance by taking three straight rounds, ending Spiro Jin's run. Although he secured the U.S. East title, Obscure's work in the competition was not over yet. The final boss of the tournament was none other than Tekken World Tour 2017 finalist Joey Fury, a Marduk player with a keen eye for when to strike first. The first game was bagged and tagged by Obscure, but Joey Fury fought back to keep the conflict in his favor. Forcing the boss battle into a Game 5 tiebreaker, it wasn't long before Joey Fury regained control. A tired Obscure fell in three straight rounds. He's gonna throw here. Ah! Oh, it's gonna be close to being it. He could get him here. What's gonna happen? Oh, and the tackle, one mix up. You better one guess right. Oh, ah! and he hit him with the double, and that's gonna be it. Final boss, Joey Fury, takes it over NG Obscure, and he's able to hold down the crown. That following month in Central USA, Marquis Shadow Jordan turned heads as he dominated the event's top eight upper bracket. In a gripping three games to one, Shadow sent Eliza Fighter and fellow Disrupt Gaming player Junya to the lower bracket, earning a first-class ticket to the grand finals. With a frightening 3-0 result, Junior made a recovery from the loser's side, earning another shot against the player that almost knocked him out of the tournament. Ooh, one, two, four, rage art. Uh-huh. Is that, what about the scaling though? I don't think that's gonna feel. Not dead. He gets a chance, 50-50 time. Yeah, I'm I'm down, down. Dead. Hungry for the win, Junior reset the bracket. But that only delayed the inevitable, as Shadow performed a glorious comeback, narrowly ending his disrupt gaming counterpart with another stunning 3-1 win. And that's gonna be the U.S. Central crown was his. But Shadow's greatest challenge in the tournament came in the form of the final boss battle, 26-year-old Cuddlecore. Shadow has beaten Cuddlecore many times in past premier events, but this time around, he would have his work cut out for him. Cuddlecore delivered a final blow to take game one. She almost took the second, but Shadow edged out to take game two's fifth round, evening the scores in the boss battle showdown. Cuddlecore is a ruthless Elisa fighter. She deleted Shadow in the third after completely reading her opponent, then fought desperately in the fourth and final game to once and for all stand tall over her rival. Oh my god, yeah. she's got rage too. Spends the drive. Who can't stand it? Oh my. She got the mids. Uh oh, Shadow's in big trouble. What? 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 Run! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, we're crushing that's gonna be Cuddle Corp. Right now, he seems to The US West Online Challenger was full of kicks, punches, and heavy hitting blows. Most of these were delivered by Korean born multi fighter Bin Chang who showed the Americans how to play Tekken properly as he progressed through the top eight upper bracket. Bin Chang's first real obstacle came at the hands of El Negro in the winner's finals when the Master Raven star defeated him in three straight rounds to put a point on the board. El Negro lost the series three games to one, but bounced back to spar with the Korean prodigy once more in the grand finals, 
after a tiebreaker victory against Najissa in the losers' finals. Bin Chang opted for Claudio in the final showdown. He punished El Negro in back-to-back -back victories, outplaying his opponent at every opportunity. El Negro fought and won the third match, but Bin Chang ultimately got the better of him. He made the switch to Fakaram and ended the tournament with a brutal three-round onslaught. Bin Chang swallowed the best from the U.S. and spat them back out, which is exactly what he did to the U.S. West final boss, MYK. The first game was close. At two rounds aside, Bin Chang played patiently. He moved in to strike his Steve opponent when it was safe and was rewarded with the first victory in the final boss battle. The second match was even closer. Hearts were pounding as both players stood at two rounds each and no health meter to spare. The clock was ticking down fast, so Bin Chang went in for the final kick. MYK was feeling the pressure. In spectacular fighting game fashion, Bin Chang ended the final boss with a perfect win. Oh, Superman, this is how we saw that last round start. This time, side step four. You have to be careful. We've seen these mids on the wall, so I'm surprised he's still... Oh, and that's gonna be that. These three exceptional fighting game players fought and won against their regional peers. Who will rise to the top as a Tekken 7 god in your part of the world this 2021 season? Every time I stop, get... Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with the amazing eSport content from around the gaming globe. Only on Unbeaten eSports.